Hello friends, my name is Cody and I'm with LaunchDarkly and in this video, I'm gonna show you how Release Guardian can let you get metrics alongside any feature that you're rolling out inside of the platform. Let's get into it. Here we are inside of Launch Airways. I can sign in and come in and search for the airports I wanna travel from and to. So I can type in Sacramento here. And we can see it takes quite a while for that to show up. If I jump into two and I type in Tokyo, again, we can see a lot of lag on resolving those airports out. Architecturally, I know this is because the back end is a database that's just not performing very well. I have a feature in place that'll let me roll out a new Redis caching tier that'll be a lot more performant and should solve these problems for our end users. But ultimately, I wanna know if when I release that feature, if the performance is actually getting better. I wanna know if I'm generating errors or if there are larger problems inside of my system whenever I release those features. Release Guardian inside of LaunchDarkly is how I'm gonna do that. Let's jump into LaunchDarkly and take a look. Here I'm in my feature flag list, and if I come over and click on metrics, I can see all of the metrics that I've defined out inside of this environment. Here I have this errors metric, which success criteria is lower, meaning that if it's a lower error rate, it'll be marked as successful. We like that. And likewise, if I jump back into metrics and take a look at this airport latency one, we can see a similar concept. If the latency is lower, which is measured in MS, we'll see success. Let's take a look at how these features are attached inside of our application code. Here we have the API call that controls connections back to that Postgres database or the Redis database. Here I'm using the native SDK capabilities to track the speed and send it back to LaunchDarkly. Likewise, I'm doing the same thing for error rates whenever an error occurs. And so with those, I'm automatically sending these metrics back into LaunchDarkly. I didn't have to build anything additional or use any other external systems. I can do this all right inside of my code with the SDKs that I've already installed. Let's jump back into LaunchDarkly now and take a look at our feature flag and see how we can attach these metrics. I can go up to this top right, select add metrics, choose that error and latency metric, save my changes. And now this feature flag knows about those metrics with any release. When I turn this on, I get a nice monitor and save option. When I select it, I can choose the duration that I wanna monitor, or I can go in and customize and say, I wanna change the percentage of users who are gonna to go to that new feature, as well as change the time. Maybe I wanna do 15 minutes instead of an hour. I can also choose if I wanna automatically roll back this feature if a regression is detected. A regression would be going way outside of the limits of that latency. So maybe way higher latency than expected would be a regression or increase in error rate would be a regression. In my case, I just wanna be notified by the system when this is happening so I can make a decision based on the data that's there. So I'll go ahead and select next, but before I click save, I'm gonna start generating some traffic for us. I'll go into my API client Choose to repeat on an interval and select every one second and hit start. With that running, I can hop back into LaunchDarkly and hit save, and it's gonna go ahead and start performing that rollout. I can go into the live events view inside of LaunchDarkly and watch this traffic happen live. In just a few seconds, we can already see some metrics coming through as tracked, as well as user contexts that are being evaluated against the features that we've rolled out. We can see, for example, flight database is evaluated as false for this user context. And again, we can see those metrics coming through. We'll head back into that feature within LaunchDarkly and take a look and see if we're getting anything in yet. We can see monitoring in progress. And if we jump in, we can see some user traffic's hitting our system. We can see we're already getting much better latency by connecting to the new database and we're getting no errors. We can click on view insights and drop in and get more data here. On the right, we can see our latency and it's definitely a lot better on the Redis system by almost half. We're seeing no errors at this point, but right away we're getting some great telemetry on the success of this new feature. We didn't have to go to our operations team and try to get access to a dashboard to see this we were able to see it natively right alongside the feature we're rolling out. And if I was doing a targeted release where I was only rolling out to people on the West Coast, I would be seeing the metrics specifically for them. That's something that's really hard to do in traditional monitoring platforms, but we can do that right alongside the features that we're rolling out inside of LaunchDarkly. And once again, if we go back and check out this feature flag directly, that visibility is available right from the start of that feature.
But wait a second, let's jump back into this feature and take a look. Just as I thought, we're starting to see some errors come through. We're seeing that at load, the Postgres database actually starts to have some significant errors while the reddest caching tier stays completely stable the whole time. This is great data about how the performance of our feature is when it's rolling out to the audiences that are consuming it. Immediately alongside our feature, I can see the error rate, how it's performing live against the users receiving that feature and the latency. So I know that the Redis caching tier in this perspective is doing better. If I wanted to do this for more business centric metrics like conversion, for example, if I had a payment plan or I had a different part of the system that I wanted to measure if people were interacting with, I could use that in the same way with metrics and do regressions based on less people converting in our system, less people buying our new product or less people registering for a new flight. All of that's possible with Release Guardian. Release Guardian is all about giving you a connection between the features you're rolling out and the metrics that you care about alongside those releases. Hope you enjoyed checking out this video about Release Guardian. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great one.